Are you looking for a way to mount a camera on the side of a rocket? That's what I'm going to show you in today's video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Uh, today I want to show you how we're going to mount a camera on the side of a rocket like this one right here. This is the Mad Cow Honest John kit. Um, here I have a variety of USB cameras. Um, these are little spy cameras and they usually have a little little lens on one end and an on and off button somewhere else on the rocket. And these are some that we sold. We sold this one. We called this one the Sky Spy. It's been discontinued. This is the U838 and this is the 808 camera. Um, this one, I don't remember the name of it, it was, but I evaluated it and I like this one better. So when we looked for a new camera to replace the Sky Spy, this is the one I chose over this one. Uh, but this is a nice little camera, but uh, I like this one better. Um, so this is the camera and to mount it on the rocket, um, I've got little Velcro dots and you can find Velcro at a, at a um, craft store or, hobby or hardware store. Um, these are just little dots and I like these because they're already pre-cut um, and I'm just going to put them on the camera. I already got the hook end and I'm just putting the felt end so that um, when I put it on the rocket it nicely aligns so I don't have to worry about that later. Um, then I'm going to take the rocket and I want to make sure that I don't put it in line with the launch lug because that would be kind of silly because then it would interfere with the launch. Um, so I'm going to put it on one of the other sides. Um, and I like to put it as far forward on the rocket as possible because of center of gravity. Remember, we want to keep the center of gravity as far forward as possible. Also choose a rocket that's very stable because the camera is going to um, also move the center of pressure forward because it adds another force on, on this side of the rocket. So try to use an overstable rocket to get the best results. Um, so I'm going to look down the rocket and I'm going to put it right between the two fins. Oops, I don't want it there, I want it down a little bit. Okay, align it where you want it. Um, and then you can remove the camera to push down the Velcro. Okay, so now I have my Velcro dots and then when I'm ready to install the camera, I just put it on there like that. Now you don't want to fly it this way because the air will get underneath the camera and then rip it off. So we need to protect it and that's what this is. This is a camera hood or a camera fairing and it goes around the camera like this. And you can see that on this end, it conforms nicely to the curvature of the tube so that air can't get underneath and pry it up because that's what we want to prevent. Um, and then to attach this to the rocket, you just tape around the outside with some tape. Uh, you can use masking tape or um, I've cut some strips of clear tape. Uh, I just got some clear packing tape like this. It's pretty strong stuff. And then you can go around the perimeter and just tape it down and then you won't see too much of the tape like that and then I would take more tape and put it around here and then to turn the camera on um, I can just lift off one side of the tape hinge it upwards and then I can turn my camera on using the buttons which on this camera are on the side um, we sell these camera hoods here at Apogee Components. Um, we make them for various size tubes. When you get them, they're going to be like this because they're a vacuform plastic. Um, you can see the curvature of the tube here. Um, to remove them from the plastic, we'll just simply cut them out and we'll cut it from the inside because the edges are really nice and defined. Um, so I'll put my glasses on whenever you're using a hobby knife. and. You don't have to cut really hard, just score and your knife blade will, will follow the edge pretty close.
a little hard to hold, but um, you'll get it. Okay, and then once it's scored, you can just bend it back and forth and it should snap out pretty easily. I'll do the sides first and then work on the ends. Okay, and then we need to cut off the bottom so that the camera can look out. Um, so again, this was a little harder because um, we're cutting deeper into there. Just follow the, the edges with a hobby knife. And then this end, I'm just going to cut that off. Just cut it here. And on this end, even with the edge there. And that will allow me to bend it back and forth, just like that. And that's what this one is right here. Where it's, where it's cut out and it's ready to go. So it's pretty simple to mount a camera on a rocket. Um, you can find these at Apogee Components at www.apogeerockets.com. We have them for different sizes from a BT60 all the way up to a 4 inch. Uh, this is a 2.6 inch. Um, if you like this video, go down there and make a comment and hit the subscribe button because we'd love to have you as a subscriber. And come to our website uh, to subscribe to our newsletter and then you'll get notifications when these new videos are released. There's also some videos here on the side. Go ahead and watch those too. Again, my name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.